A life-sized metal figure was unveiled today to mark the historic steps Ruby Bridges took into the William France Elementary School. She was the first black student to desegregate the Ninth Ward School. Erica Ferrando has that story. It was 1960 when Ruby Bridges, only six years old, became the first black student to attend the all-white William France Elementary School in the Ninth Ward of New Orleans. Four U.S. Marshals escorted her into the school while angry crowds shouted and threatened her. She walked these stairs and not only changed the course of integration in this city, but also the course of history. Jasmine Graves Black Clemens is now the principal of that same school building, now Akili Academy, where outside the doors, a life-size metal figure was unveiled to mark those historic steps. Wow. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser unveiled the marker Thursday. Wow. What incredible heroes, occurrences. It's the eighth marker on the Louisiana Civil Rights Trail. I never learned this in school. So it's not just the tourism aspect, it's the educational the story that needs to be told. And those heroes, their families, uh, to recognize them. Five more markers are set to be unveiled across the state. We're realizing uh, how many incredible heroes, uh, courageous acts uh, started right here in Louisiana for the civil rights movement. Oh, it's a beautiful thing to see, to be here, to be here and be alive to see it. Bridges wasn't able to make it, but her brother Carl Bridges did. He remembers attending the school following his sister. It was a struggle back then. To, to come here at the school. A struggle that's now recognized as a monumental step in the civil rights movement. I appreciate it because my mom's not here to see it and she went through the struggles too. Courageous decisions now marked in history. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.